Yeah. Come on, man. Look at this. So Petrified Fish has made some changes. This is a new box design. That first for me to see it. Now, maybe y'all have seen it before, but Petrified Fish, EDC, dot com. How about it? Yeah. What a cool box. And it's... Ah, you know, it's on par with their other box for sure, but, I, you know, it's pretty cool. Anyways, neat change. Petrified Fish is a PFP10KMW hair tail. Stonewash K110 Brown Micarta. I mean, that tells us a lot, right? Let's get it out of here. Oh, look at this. Nifty. And all of the new knives coming are sealed. Not no mo. So if I purge it, it's going to be an open box deal, right? Which aren't they all? I sell them. Hey, when I purge, I sell them all as used. Just cause I, I'm fondling it, so we're gonna we're gonna count that as used. Do I discount it? No. <laughs> I just I just sell it as used. You still got to pay new. Oh, look at this thing. Wow, there is some milling going on. Same material in the back spacer. Let's get rid of these, this packaging. I do I do like the fish on the box. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm not a big box guy, but this seems like a budget box and you know, keep their costs down, try to keep the knife cost down. I dig it. Alright, let's get that blade out. Wow. Alright. Liner lock. Back flipper only. Very snappy. I mean, I already know that there's no way I can fail this knife. Yeah, it's just there's so much detent there that when it breaks, it's got to go. But very snappy. Feels assisted. Lots of contoured milling and stuff going on here, and I feel all that. I wonder if that's titanium. Looks anodized. Not steel. Yep. Psych. Had me thinking it. Blade centered. How about how about tension on the pocket clip? Ooh. Yeah. I don't even I mean, we're gonna hmm, I'm gonna check it up front because I need to change my, my routine. What do we got here? We got some writing. It's the PFP number and then K one ten steel. And then the only badging, other badging, is the PF in the uh, pivot. And I dig it. It's like, hey, people in, you know, people that are down on your stuff, they know that's you, man. I like it. Have confidence in your logo. And don't change it. It's cool. I dig it. Mm-hmm. Oh, so snappy. Yeah, very comfortable in hand. Yeah, cool. Well, let's get in it. Come on. Jibber jabber, jibber jabber. Here we go. Uh, for some reason, that didn't feel captured, but I think it is. We'll find out. It it rotated slightly on me. Um. T6 is from here out. Oh, you know what? Come on, man. I've still got screws holding everything down. I'm going to run that pocket clip real quick. I'm trying to get in the habit. Goes over the thick stuff, and man, it's got a lot of tension. Nice profile. I mean, it's not super deep carry, about three quarters of an inch, a little over half an inch sticking its head out there. But, wow. So, it's a type of pocket clip that I could tumble down a hill, get picked up by a tornado and drop 20 miles away. And if I reach back for this knife, it's going to be right where I left it. Yeah, it's a wonderful pocket clip. I dig it. All right. Now, let's get these T6s out. Yeah, I'm trying to get that pocket check in the front, that clip. Um... 
so that if I've got to modify it, I know as I'm disassembling versus putting it all back together. And I forget who the viewer was that said that to me, but thank you, man. Again, thank you for that because you're totally making sense there. There's no reason to do all this, put the knife back together, then check the clip, then take it apart and fix it. It's just unnecessary. Yeah, pretty fundamental in here. Steel liners. Got the micarta backspacer. I dig it. I said micarta. Is that micarta? What did that box say? Did it say micarta or G10? Yeah, it's micarta. Okay. Come on, man. Keep up. And the pivot is... It's, it shows that it's a... a a captured pivot, but it's not captured in anything. It's not captured in the liner on the bottom or the top. So yeah, it can it can rotate. I have to pay attention to that when I reassemble, because of course you want the PF to be running horizontal along there. But yeah, none of this is capturing that. I mean, it didn't cause any problems. So as long as it comes apart appropriately I'm okay nice stone wash on that k110 blade love the blade design beautiful represents capable full show I think this is going to be a budget piece that that in the end that's going to be part of the descriptive is that this is a very capable piece you know, potential backup self-defense or, you know, possibly even primary. We'll see. The The wild card is going to be, can I get a confident grip on it? If I can't get a confident grip on it, then it's hard for me to really say that it's that kind of piece. You know, like if I can't, if I can't really wield it in a manner that's going to allow me to aggressively put it into action in that kind of environment, then it's hard for me to say that, yeah, it would work for that. And what it, everything I'm saying comes down to this. If I can't put it in my hand without the risk of running my, my fingers up over that blade, then it, you know, it, it can't function like that for me. Because, you know, if I got to put it to work, I don't want to, you know, potentially cut my finger off. Doesn't sound like fun to me. All right, here we go. I didn't have any problem with the detent, so I'm not going to modify it. It uh, very snappy, but in a good way. Yeah, there wasn't anything there that I needed to complain about. Could I take some off of it? Probably. Probably could. But it's so snappy, I'm not going to. That PF is turned a little bit. Let me see if I can't straighten that out. There we go. Okay. T sixes. Yeah, this one, this one definitely, visually, I, it would have caught my eye. Just the blade shape and the aggressiveness of this overall piece. It's kind of my thing. Budget piece. You know, we'll check that here, too, in a second. How much of a budget piece? Oh, that stonewashed blade with this, what is that, tan, a light green micarta. All right, here we go. Very snappy. Let's make sure we don't have any play. Nah, it's locked up super tight. All right, so that action, 
it's got, you know, this is lowered, scalloped. It's got great access to the scalloped liner. And so very intuitive, easy to unlock that, get that out of the way. The blade is really centered. Um, got some jimping on the flipper tab. And man, is it snappy. Woo! Wonderful. I mean, I probably could take a little bit off of this lock, but I'm just going to leave it snappy. The, the new owner may dig it like that, and if not, you can always relieve some of that tension off of there. But, golly. All right. So, A- minus action. You know, it's, it's solid. I like it. Uh, let's talk about ergonomics. So... Nice finger guard, definitely a confident grip, not so confident, confident, very confident. Well, this thing's going to charge towards the top of the list there because I'm definitely locked in here. All this contouring and milling just allows my hand to really lock in here. Very comfortable, confident grip. I feel the pocket clip, but it's not hot in any way. Um, reverse grip, this is contoured for a thumb to really cap that, so wonderful yeah, this whole thing, yeah, wonderful grip here, very confident grip, and the pocket clip comes into play with at least one finger locking it in even more, and then I can get here for a power, you know, if I really had to drive this down through something, I could get here, and I would prefer to be right here versus right here, yeah, so it, it affords that grip, yeah, there's a really strong hammer grip with this piece yeah uh the pocket clip solid we already know that let's check safety make sure we can't contact the blade anywhere none through the scales and the tip is recessed underneath that little hump right there so the clip's great tip's good i'm confident that i can handle this knife any way i want and i'm not going to cut myself as long as it's closed and it's got a really good detent on the bottom yeah, very strong. You can hear it click into place. Yep, good stuff. Um, I wonder if that blade's sharp. Got this little piece right here. Yeah, it's wicked, crazy sharp. Great job on the edge, petrified fish. I dig it. Um, price and availability. Okay, so these things are around. These micarta versions, there's this one in another color. Um, you can expect to pay right around 50 bucks, possibly drop under just into the 40s for this version uh, with that Stonewash K110. Then there's a couple of models that have carbon fiber in the handles, and those are just over $60 is what I would expect to pay for those. Um, I, you know, in the end... I would absolutely consider this as a, even a primary self-defense piece. It's got a great locked-in grip, very confident, wonderful blade that, you know, if you had to bring it to bear, if I had to bring it to bear, this very capable blade, very capable grip, super sharp. I mean, it's a nice little pocket piece. I say little, but it's it's a large knife. This is a large, this is a large pocket piece, not a little pocket piece. All right, petrified fish, uh, hair, come on, what is it? Hair tail, petrified fish, hair tail. Appreciate y'all watching.